Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite and this tablet has got a new software update of Android 13 or One UI 5. So in this video, I will show you 18 new features for Android 13. So let's start. The first feature is about multitasking. So you have to go into the settings okay once you enter into the settings you will see an option of advanced features just select it once you select it here you see the first option of labs just select it and once you select it you have to scroll down and you will see two new options uh, of swipe for pop-up view just enable it and the other one is swipe for split screen just enable it as well now what you can do is you can open any of your app let's say i open this uh, samsung internet browser and now let's say i want to open this in a split screen view so what i can do is i just use my two fingers and i can just swipe it like this okay to open it in a split screen view like that and then i can open any other app on this side as well you can do the same thing in the portrait mode as well for example i open uh, any app i open this app let's say you can swipe up with two fingers like that i will show you so i just swipe it like this and then it will also open in the split screen view like that and at the bottom you can open any other app if you want the next feature is about opening the apps in pop-up view from the corner for example i open the samsung notes app so what i can do i can just use this corner like this i can just swipe it and then i can open it in a pop-up view like that okay so you can see now if you want you can easily move it anywhere and at the background you can also open any other app okay so you can work on this as well the next feature is about apps running in the background so for example i select this recent button okay and then you will see a new option over here on the top left corner you can see over here it says two active in background so it means two apps are running in the background so if i just select it it will open a new window where it will show me the background activity so you can see currently there are two apps running in the background so if you want to uh, you save the battery if you want to extend the battery life or if you don't want to use these apps to run in the background you can directly stop it from here so it will stop and this will help you uh, to extend your battery life and also you can see the background activity the next feature is about lock screen customization so for example if i lock my tablet like that i double tap on the screen okay and then if i press and hold it like this okay it will ask me to unlock so i will unlock it and then it will take me to the lock screen customization like this so what i can do now is i can change everything in the lock screen for example if i want to change the clock i just select this clock option and here you can see it is giving me different font styles i can select different fonts i can also change uh, the clock okay so there are different clock styles available and then if you want you can also change the color okay so there are different colors options also available the next thing is you can also change the wallpapers from here so wallpaper is over here you just select it so here we have new wallpapers option you can see there is a graphical wallpaper so you can select it or if you want you can change the colors of the wallpaper so there are different colored wallpapers are also available so if i go back i will have more options about these shortcuts so here is the left shortcut if you just select it it will giving you different option to select any app shortcut from here you can select or for the right as well you can also change the right um, shortcut as well from here the next thing is you can also insert contact information just select it and here you can give it any name for example i want to give it a name of samtube then i press done so here you can see it is showing me samtube the next thing is you can also change these notification style just select it and here you can see the icon only the details if you want to change the transparency you can also change it like that okay and then you have auto reverse text color if you want to enable or disable it you can also do it once you finish you just press done and your lock screen customization has been set the next feature is about maintenance mode so you go into the settings once you enter into the settings just scroll down from left side and you see this option of battery and device care 
just selected once you selected here on right side just scroll down and you see this option of maintenance mode just select it so once you select it here it will give you all uh, the information about maintenance mode so whenever you give your tablet for a repair or uh, for a maintenance so you just turn it on so nobody can access your personal data the next feature is very helpful for the productivity it is called app timers so now you can set app timer for each individual app you have to go into the settings once you enter into the setting just select this option of digital well-being just select it so once you select it here if you scroll down you see this option of app timers so you just select this app timer timers from here so once you select it here it will show you all the apps so you can set an individual time for each app for example i will set a time for this docs okay i just select it so once you select it here it is showing you set timer option just select it and once you select it here you can set any time for any day okay so the days are also mentioned or any time you can set from here for example i set a timer for this app let's say for 25 minutes okay and then i press done okay so now what i can do is i can just open this docs app okay so i can work on it okay and then if i want to see the timer for this app i just select this uh, recent button option and once you select it here you can see for the docs app it is showing me 25 minutes left today so here it will show me the app timer for this specific app the next feature is about stack widgets so press and hold on the home screen select this widgets option so here you can select any widget okay so for example i select this device care okay and then let's say i want to select this widget i just press and hold it like this and then i can put it on my home screen like that now what i can do is i can stack more widgets into this same widget so what i will do i just press and hold it like this i select this option of create stack you see this plus icon just select it so here you can select one more widgets or multiple widgets so for example i select this digital well-being and i select this one as well so i just select it and then i press add so that one will also add to the same widget what i have to do i just scroll it like this and then you can see i have the other widgets here as well so same way i can add more widgets in this stack the next feature is about new color palettes option so press and hold on the home screen select this wallpaper and style and here you see this option of color palette just select it once you select it here you can see currently it is disabled so i will enable it so once i enable it you see i have this basic colors option okay and then i have dual colors and if i select this wallpaper color i have more palettes option also available so for example i select this basic color and here you can select any color so you can see it will also apply to all the icons everywhere okay so for example i select this color let's say this color i select and then i press apply so it will apply to everything even to the volume bar as well for example i select this volume and here you can see it also changes its color before it was not like that before it always remain white the next feature is about watermark so you can watermark all of your pictures so what you have to do you turn on the camera okay and once you open the camera just select this option of settings okay so here you see the settings icon just select it so once you select it here you see this option of watermark you just select it once you select it you can turn it on okay and here you can customize your watermark as well for example here it says model name you can change it here is the edit option just select it and here you can give it any name for example i want to give it a name of sam tube i just write it here and then i press save so here you can see now it is showing like this if you want to add date and time you can select it so date and time also available you can change the font so there are different font options okay like this one okay and then if you want you can also change their alignment so you can see in the middle on the right or on the left the next feature is about multiple timers so you can open uh, your clock okay once you open your clock you see this option of timer okay and then you can set any timer for example i will set this timer for 10 minutes i just start it okay so once you start on your uh, top right corner you see this option of plus icon 
just select it so once you select it here you see you will have more option for the timer so you can select one more timer and then you can start okay and then you can add another timer okay so for example i want to set time for like uh, 58 minutes i just start so here you can see i have three different timers so you can add multiple timers okay so once you go into home screen you will see the timer will appear like this you can change it like that change its position okay and you can also change the timer directly from here you see these arrows over here so if i just select it like this okay and then you can see you can open another timer this is the first timer so you can uh, visit all the timers directly from here as well the next feature is about new option in the setting which is called modes and routines just go into the settings once you enter into the settings you see there is a new option of modes and routines just select it so once you select it here you have new modes and routines option so you can set it you can customize it for example if i select this sleep okay and then i turn it on so you will see everything will become dark okay and the time is also showing okay and then do not disturb also enable so this is how uh, you can set the modes and routine you can also customize it according to your needs the next feature is about app notifications so now you have a new notifications option just go into the settings once you enter into the setting just select this option of notifications so once you enter into the notification here you see this option of app notifications just select it so once you select it here you can select any app for a specific notification for example i select the samsung internet so here if i just enter you see there are three different options available you can select any of the three okay and then you can also hide content on the lock screen if you want to hide it you can enable it as well the next feature is about recent apps pop-up view so guys you can select this recent button and here all your recent apps so what you can do is you can open any app directly from here in a pop-up view for example i want to open this gallery so i just select this gallery icon like that and then here you see this option of open in pop-up view so you can just select it and this app will open directly in a pop-up view and if you select this bar you have all the other option you can directly open uh, in the full screen mode then you have the option of the split screen okay and then if you want to close this app you can close it from here the next feature is about app language so now you can change the language for each app so you have to go into the settings okay once you enter into the settings you have to scroll down and you see this option of general management okay so here is the general management option once you select it here you see the second option is about app languages so just select it so here is the list of apps that you can change the language for so only for these apps you can change the language just select any app like this and then here you can select any language for this specific app the next feature is about new security dashboard okay so go into the settings and once you enter into the settings uh, you have to see this option of security okay security and privacy just select it so once you select it here you see it is showing me two suggestion so here is the new security dashboard okay so if you have any suggestion for example this app security it says here this sign it means i need to do some action i uh, if i just select it here you can see device protection is off you can turn it on so here it will give you all the security suggestions related to your tablet the next feature is about edge panel app names so if i take out the edge panel you can see it is only showing me the app icons okay it is not showing me the names of these apps so if you want to enable the names you can also do it now just select this pen icon from here okay and once you select it here you see these three dots just select it and here you see this option of show app names so if you enable it now if i just close it and then if i open the edge panel now it is 
is showing the name of the apps the next feature is about photo editing so for example if i open a gallery and if i open this image so if i just select this pen icon for editing uh, this photo and now if i want to write any text okay so here you see this emoji icon so here is the text option so if i try to write something over here okay so if i just select this right and then if i try to write something so you can see over here i just write it and then on the left side there is a new option available there is a new bar option so here you can see i can increase or decrease the size directly from here and once i finish i can just press done now the other thing is you can also create stickers okay so here is the sticker option okay so here all the sticker and here you see this option just select it okay and then select this plus icon so here you can select any picture to create the sticker okay so for example i select this one okay and then here you can select any kind of uh, sticker so you can use this circle and uh, you can use this rectangle you can also edit it okay and then if you want to create sticker like this you press next okay and the sticker is created you press done okay so you can see a new sticker is created out of this image okay and then you can save it as well the next feature is about auto optimization go into the settings okay and then go into battery and device care once you enter into the battery and device care just uh, go down and you see this option of auto optimization just select it once you select it here you see it it says restart when needed so you can enable it so it will restart your tablet automatically to keep it in the best condition okay automatic restarts will only happen when you are not using your tablet the last feature is about a ram plus turn off so now you can completely turn off the ram plus option just go into the settings okay once you enter into the settings just go into battery and device care okay once you enter into the battery and device care just go into the memory once you enter into the memory you will see this option of ram plus okay at the bottom just select it once you select it here you see this option of ram plus so if you want to completely turn it off you can completely turn it off from here okay it will ask you to restart your tablet so here how you can completely turn off your ram plus option so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much